Ever wished that you didn't have to choose between your chaplain litanies? Well, now you can have any two. Hello and welcome back to Auspets Tactics, the strategy-focused 40k channel where we've been looking at all of the new changes in the new Space Marine Codex. It turns out Games Workshop had a bit of a surprise for us though, because from the new teaser that they've posted on Warhammer Community site, the Faith and Fury book will be giving us access to Masters of the Chapter. If all of them work like the Chaplain, then they appear to be augmented versions of the Chaplain, Tech Marine, Librarian, Apothecary, Company Ancient, and Company Champion. Now, they haven't leaked the full rules for these yet, but they have shown us the stratagem for Master of Sanctity, which is essentially the upgraded Chaplain version. So let's take a look at this particular stratagem. So the way it's worded is for one command point, you use this stratagem before the battle. Select one chaplain model from your army that isn't a named character. Until the end of the battle, it gains the Master of Sanctity keyword. It knows one additional litany from the litanies of battle, and can recite one additional litany at the start of each battle round. You can only use this stratagem once per battle, which means you can only upgrade one chaplain in this way across your army. Now, just to me, this seems like this will be an auto-include if you're bringing a chaplain along to the battle. The chaplain litanies are pretty strong, particularly applied to big models or big units, and people often bring the chaplains at 72 points just to be able to recite, say, recitation of focus on something big like a storm raven or a repulsor executioner or a squad of devastated centurions, for example. So this essentially gives you the benefit of two chaplains, at least in terms of litany providing ability, for the cost of one chaplain and one command point. It's a really, really good spend of one command point. You could, for example, have a chaplain knowing that restation of focus to add one to their ballistic skill, and also know the Catechism of Fire to add one to wound rolls when the chosen unit targets the nearest unit. That could be absolutely mad on, say, a big squad of aggressors. If you do get both litanies off, then, say, if you're targeting a squad of tactical marines, those aggressors will go from killing an average of 9 space marines to an average of 15 space marines so slightly over a 50% increase if you do get both litanies off. I know that litanies certainly aren't guaranteed to go off, though you can make it more likely with more command points, but having the option to buff them twice means that you can have a roll of both litanies. If you only get one, then it doesn't matter so much. It means that you could spend that command point that you might have done re-rolling that litany, as you've still buffed that unit to some extent. You could also combo this with the Canticle of Hate, Say you had a big squad of Terminators drop down and you move your chaplain near to support them. You could give them the Catechism of Fire to make those Storm Bolters all wound on a plus one to wound. And then you could also use the Canticle of Hate to buff their charge roll. So hopefully they only need a seven inch charge to hit the enemy. It also gives you the option of making your chaplain more fighty as well. Because say if you had a chaplain whose primary purpose was to make that unit have a seven inch charge... You could also give him the Manta of Strength to add plus one attack, strength and damage to the chaplain's profile. And then of course he will be more likely to make his charge as well because of that Canticle of Hate. There really are a number of good combos with this. I quite like it in the way that it means that you no longer have to choose between a really really crucial litany and one that will be an extremely nice to have litany. You can now just take them both and if you fail the crucial one you can still re-roll it with a command dice. To my knowledge, I don't think that there'd be anything stopping you from putting this on a Chaplain Dreadnought, which would be pretty funny. You could give him the Manta of Strength, and also either a buffing litany, or that Canticle of Hate to help him make the charge. The Dreadnought's quite a good target for this stratagem, as he's so tough, so will likely be around most of the game to use those litanies all game long. So overall, a very, very strong stratagem, and I look forward to seeing what the other options for the Master of Sanctity will be when we have the full release. According to the Warhammer Community article, being a Master of Sanctity or any of the other senior ranks that we've talked about will unlock a Warlord trait only accessible to the Master of Sanctity and also two additional relics for each of the senior ranks. That's a ton of new options and it could certainly give us some powerful buffs on the battlefield, though frankly the Master of Sanctity stratagem seems perfectly strong enough to use anyway regardless of any other benefits. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing what they do with the other Hero of the Chapter rules. If they act similarly to the Master of Sanctity, then it seems likely that they'll also be a command point each, and they might let them use one additional action of their type. 
I could see a tech marine being able to repair twice, a librarian being able to cast and deny an extra power, an apothecary being able to heal twice, and so on. I'm very interested to see what this will do for the company Ancient, because if they give back the ability to fire on death on a 3+, which they had in the old codex, then this guy could certainly be worth a second look for your competitive lists. This is all complete rumours at the moment though, because they haven't shown us the actual rules. When we do find out, I'll certainly be back, and we'll have a big chat about all of the options once they're laid bare for us. Thanks very much for listening to another All Specs Tactics video. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more Space Marine content, and I'll see you guys next time.